guys, it's Nancy from Wishes and Weeds. Got a big thrift haul this week. Um, today was actually the first day of the yard sale season. Um, I went to a couple this morning, even though there's still snow on the ground. Um, some were just held inside the house, a couple were estate sales, and some people were wearing long johns outside, that's for sure. So I found a lot of great deals today, and in fact, I'm not showing you everything I got because um, there's just no more room on the table. But I have some interesting stories about some of the pieces, so let's get started. Uh, we'll clear a space right in the middle, I guess, by starting with some milk glass. Um, this piece I got at Goodwill for $2, and uh, this piece was also a Goodwill. It was also $2. So I said I wasn't going to buy any more milk glass unless it was really unusual or really cheap. So the rest of the milk glass that you see is either unusual or cheap. So I got this pair of decanters at Goodwill and they are milk glass and it's got kind of this goldy brown paint on the raised areas. I'm wondering if there's some way I can take that off because it's kind of ugly and the decanter itself is really nice and I got a pair so with the stoppers so that is really cool. Um, they were four dollars a piece which I thought was an excellent deal. Moving some stuff out of the way. Um, this was an estate sale, that was a quarter. This was an estate sale, it was 50 cents. Um, oh, and this milk glass, it's a glass. It's a, I don't know, probably a nine ounce tumbler. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever seen anything like it before, but it was a dollar, I got it at Goodwill. And Here's a little pear dish that I got. That was also a dollar. It's really pretty on the back. Got some cookie cutters, because it wouldn't be a thrift haul of mine without cookie cutters. Um, there's a camel in there. There's a Santa Claus and a bell. So they're not unusual. There's a couple in there that I'll just re... Oh, it's Mickey Mouse. I'll probably re-donate the Mickey and the Minnie. Um, but the reason I got these, not because they were unusual, but because they were that copper color. Uh, I'm not sure if I paid a dollar, if I paid a dollar, or if I paid 50 cents. There's a whole lot of prices on this bag. Um, I got a whole bunch of these little molds. Um, they were just kind of a throw in at a, a yard sale this morning. They've got different, they've all, they're all different. Um, there's an apple, cherries, and I got this enamel wearable at an estate sale. I think I paid 50 cents for it. People are always looking for this kind of stuff. Uh, I got this tin, a Q-tips tin. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. Um, but there's no barcode on it and it has a sense stamp there so it makes me think that it's got some age um, but it also has a little bit of a history about q-tips so I just don't know if anybody does have any thoughts about this I would love to hear if you have any ideas about dates or anything my husband really liked it I thought that was weird Oh, I got this jar of Mod Podge. Um, I think the last bottle of Mod Podge I got like this was, uh, I want to say six or eight dollars. I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. And I do use Mod Podge when I'm um, doing stencils with, with uh, chalk paint. So I do use that. Got this other biscuit cutter with a red wooden handle. Paid a dollar for that, which was you know, I probably could have got a whole bag of stuff for a dollar. Um, 
but you know all I would have kept would be this so you know it all works out this is another piece of milk glass it's a little canister and it's all hand painted I really like the purple flowers and it, the lid comes off and it's Italian and there's that um, sphinx that was on the white glass that I got last week the milk glass I got last week um, I can't remember what it was that had the sphinx anyway that was unusual I haven't seen anything like this got a piece of iron stone paid uh, 359 358 something like that for it because I got my student discount um, I believe this is Johnson Brothers let's see if we can get the price tag off and double check maybe not uh, why do they have to use such super sticky tags I think it anyway I think it is it says made in England on there um, and it does look like a Johnson's Brothers it's in good shape no cracks no anything it's, it's really good shape until I just put it down there and smashed it I got um, this set of enamelware there's four cups and four plates I got this at Salvation Army and I paid five dollars for the whole set and got this rolling pin with a red handle. Uh, I got that at an estate sale this morning. It already has a hook, a um, little screw eye and a hooky to hang it for. Um, needs to be cleaned up. It's still got flour on it. About 50 cents. You can't find one in a thrift store for 50 cents. What's this? Oh my goodness, I forgot. I got, I hit the mother load of uh, depression glass this week. So I got, um, I'm just taking the sticker off so you can see the center of it. So I got these plates, I think there's five or six of them. Okay, they were a dollar each. Which is funny because I went to another thrift store this morning and they had two, two little um, depression glass plates, and they were five dollars each. And that's at a, a thrift store that usually I get really, really cheap prices at. So I was kind of surprised. I haven't identified this pattern yet, but um, and there I think there was eight, and I left a couple because they had chips. But the ones that I got don't have chips, so that's good. Um, and they're kind of a pale pink color. And it's funny because when I got, when I took them up and I was helping the man wrap, and I'm wrapping each plate individually, he took three of them and wrapped them together, and I just really had a heart attack. But uh, I took a look at them when I got them home, and they were fine. If uh, if I had any nerve, I would have told him, what the heck are you doing, and made him do it right. But I don't have any nerve. I'm going to get me some. That's something you don't find at thrift stores is nerve. Got this piece of carnival glass. It's a deviled egg plate and it's heavy as all get out. I've been looking for a deviled egg plant, plant, <laughs> egg plate. And all the ones that I were finding had spots to put the salt and pepper in, um, but not having the matching salt and pepper. So I was glad to find one that, that didn't have that spot denoted for that particular reason. Um, this one is kind of a strange find. So it's um, a Corningware coffee, po coffee pot. And I grew up with a coffee pot like this, except it was the corn flower one with the blue flowers. And uh, we made big pots of tea in it. We were big tea drinkers at home. So the interesting part about this is it's never been used. And it has all of the guts in it to make percolated coffee. 
um, it's not something I need um, but I think that this pattern is often um, sought after so I will resell this and see if I can make a couple of dollars on it and it's a big 10, 10 cup one I think let's say yeah it says 10 cup so see what I can do with that um, another depression glass set I got were, were these tumblers um, I got five of them for $4.99 and this is called Madrid uh, it dates to the 30s and uh, all of them are in really good shape no hairline cracks no chips so I was really happy with that find. I wasn't sure if I was going to be getting originals or if I was getting fooled by the repros, but I did a little bit of research and discovered that yes, that pattern we was reproduced, but the tumblers were not. Other pieces were, but they were not. Uh, I got these this set of um, iridescent fruit dessert fruit no sorry dessert wine glasses um, and I think I paid I got five of them for $2.99 and I believe these are also depression glass um, but I need to do a little I think it's called optic rib but I need to do a little more research on that um, and this one has a chip so, the, I still have four, but this one has a chip, and I probably chipped it myself because I took a, I made sure none of them had chips when I bought them. So it's very likely I chipped it myself because I am a klutz. Okay, I got a pair of uh, Ray Dunn mugs. One says slurp and the other says sip. Uh, this one I got today for $1.99. The other one I got, yeah, I can't even remember when I got that. Was it yesterday or Wednesday? Could have been Wednesday. And I paid $2 for that one. Um, so that was interesting that we're seeing Ray Dunn in thrift stores already. I got this other pair of mugs and they say sweet and spicy um, they're brand new they still have the tag inside and uh, it's by Lennox so I paid a dollar ninety nine for the pair for the pair for for the two of them so I think I did all right there. I think they're cute and they're nice size. They're um, it's probably 14 ounces, 16 ounces. Uh, I got this pair of glasses today. I think you would describe those as mid-century. Uh, this was from a, an estate sale, and I paid I think I paid 50 cents a piece for them. Um, and then there was only the two. And I got this set of three glasses at a thrift store. And the only reason I got them is because um, I've seen these in three different thrift stores this week. So clearly it's easy to get a whole set of them. And these three were an exquisite shape. They were 69 cents a piece. Uh, so I went ahead and got them. And I will continue to try to build a set. So it's got a, it's got you know sea motifs. There's a lighthouse and an anchor. Um, and that's a that's a theme that sort of speaks to us here. Um, having a son in the navy and a daughter-in-law who's the daughter of a fisherman. Uh, I got a couple of monogram mugs. These are different from the ones I typically get. These ones are marked made in England. Uh, I don't think that the camera's picking that up. So you're going to have to trust me on that. These were 50 cents a piece. Um, 
got this Easter egg and what was interesting about this Easter egg is it's uh, Velroy and Bosch so it's um, just not an ordinary Easter egg and it's in really good shape it's very pretty I paid two dollars for that I got this um, seagull on on the waves and uh, green was 75% off so I paid 50 cents for it and I think this will be going into our maritime themed bedroom as uh, sort of a decor piece and accent for that room for 50 cents I got this little um, butterfly gold Pyrex bowl in the Cinderella shape um, so th it's the smallest one and I paid three dollars for that and it's in really good shape so I thought that was a good buy um, from the estate sale I got some more wooden spoons and this serving fork or something it's got a red painted handle I think I paid a quarter for all of those um, I got this little tiny tea set uh, and it's Sadler and it came with the little tiny open sugar and creamer um, that was $1.99 I got this um, ruby red hmm struggled with this last week Cape Cod glass from Avon it's a, it was an Avon collectible. Oh, no, don't smell any perfume, but once upon a time it would have had cologne or perfume in it. And uh, oh, it still feels oily. Um, but it's a candle holder, so the candle goes in the lid. It was kind of pricey, but I, I, I don't think I've ever seen the candle holder before. So I'm thinking this was maybe not a well, it wasn't one that was purchased a lot, not as much as, you know, say the, the wine glasses. So I'm thinking it's going to be harder to find a second one. Um, I got this little creamer and I paid two fifty dollars for it, and, um, which is probably more than I would have paid, but uh, it is a Lou Ray. And I had cut out an article about collecting Lou Ray from Martha Stewart Living years ago. And I've got it pasted into my book. Because <laughs> I always wanted to find some. And this, was, this I believe, is the first piece I've ever seen in the wild. Uh, so maybe this is the start of a new collection. Got a funny story about this teacup and saucer. Um, so I have... Christmas one and another one by the same maker and I like the shape of it and I like the size of it um, but I found the mug in Mississauga on Wednesday it was $2.99 and then yesterday Friday I found the matching saucer uh, 200 kilometers away in St. Thomas and I paid two dollars for it and I was just so thrilled that when I picked it up I said there was a lady on the other side of the aisle from me I said oh I have to tell you this story this I got this saucer here but I got the matching cup on Wednesday in Mississauga and she's she just looked at me like oh, okay crazy lady <laughs> that's nice um, so she wasn't as thrilled as I was which is unfortunate because it was pretty exciting stuff I got these two Christmas ornaments that are suspended on these little stands at um, uh, an estate sale today. So this one was 25 cents and it's got this beautiful floral on it. Some of them are pink, some of them are white, green leaves. And the other one I got was this one and it just has a uh, etched 
tree on it and it says that it's princess house exclusive hand blown so for 25 cents I mean the stand you couldn't get the stand for 25 cents and then I thought this one was really nice with the the finial it looks a little more um, rugged and the solid base too so I thought that was good got this uh, book it's um, gallery art so it's made by this company uh, me and my big ideas that did a lot of scrapbooking stuff but this is all images that you can take out and frame so I got super excited about this and thought well I'm gonna frame some stuff so that's why I got a lot of frames this week <laughs> um, that was at Salvation Army and it wasn't priced um, but I took it to the counter and I asked her how much and she let me have it for $1.99 which is unheard of because they certainly price things really high in that store. Um, I got a set of um, Peter Rabbit dishes so it's the plate, the mug, and bowl and it is Wedgwood I believe. Yeah, um, A little overpriced not something I collect but I thought when I saw it that um, with the new Peter Rabbit movie out that maybe I could find a, a buyer for it and make a little bit of my money back. So we'll see how that does. And then I fell in love with this beautiful plate. and uh, I paid $4 for that. It, um, it's hand painted. Um, but the colors and, and the ribbon, it just spoke Easter to me. So I'm going to put it with my uh, other Easter decor that I have up in in uh, the bookshelves in my living room and I paid $3.99 for that as you can see. I went back to that um, buy by the pound store today and I got some frames so I got this one I got these two plastic jobbies I'm gonna try to paint paint them see how it works out and I mean they weigh nothing so you know if I paid a quarter for them I'm gonna be really shocked uh, I got uh, this uh, I paid a dollar for this yesterday um, and I'm going to paint the wood white and then put this away with my St. Patrick's Day stuff for next year Uh, this one I got at hmm. did I get it at a thrift store? Maybe got it at a thrift store. So it was a dollar. This one I got today. Um, I was I've been looking for a nice square frame for that uh, piece of embroidery that I got last week with the blue flowers. Um, I mean it's silvery and gold and whatever so it's kind of too fancy for that embroidery but I think I can paint it so that was a dollar fifty uh, I got these ones they're from Ikea I got whoop, glass and stuff fell out of there I got a, another pair from Goodwill. I think I paid a dollar. Yeah, I paid two dollars for those. Get in there. Um, got this one for fifty cents at an estate sale, and this one for a dollar at the same estate sale. I really like this one. I think that's really nice quality. These ones I uh, got in Mississauga at Value Village. They were $4 a piece. 
I love the bright yellow. I'll have to clean them up a bit. I might leave them yellow or I might paint them. I haven't, haven't fully decided yet. I got this set of letters and it says live, but I think I can switch out the eye for something round and make it love. Um, I paid a dollar for that. I can use that in some sort of a project. Um, are these frames showing up? So I got this plain black one. Oh, I shouldn't say plain. It's very nice. And this brown wood one. I paid three dollars for that. I got this one with the matting, double matted, for six, seven, eight, I guess seven dollars. Um, and one of my favorite finds of the week, and actually I posted it on my um, Instagram as my favorite find, was this image of the Blue Nose which is a schooner from Nova Scotia. I really like this image. It looks like those old-fashioned travel posters. Um, it's nicely framed and I paid ten ten dollars for it. It's going to be really nice in our, um, our nautical themed bedroom. I don't know that I'll hang it on the wall. I kind of liked it on this little uh, easel stand that I got for 99 cents. Um, I thought it, it looked rather rather nice on that. So I think we might just put that on a dresser. I got this um, Halloween hand towel. Put that away. I got these two infinity scarves in these really nice, and I would call them neutral colors. Um, And I think I think they're really nice. They hang and drape very, 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 very nice. So I got two of those. Uh, got some 3M hanging strips. Love the 3M hanging strips. When you put pictures up with these strips, they don't shift, so they're never crooked. And they come off and they don't mark your wall. Got this valance. Um, that matches the green in my dining room perfectly and it has a really nice Battenberg lace edge so uh, I think I paid $3.99 yeah I paid $3.99 for that so I was particularly tickled about that um, got a couple of pirate bowls so I got this one I forget what it's called it's a Cinderella bowl I paid five dollars for it it's in really, really good shape, and I think that's like a second size. And I got this one. It's this one's called Shenandoah. Another. This is the biggest um, Cinderella bowl, and I paid six dollars for that. Um, these black marks. These will come right off with some water and a uh, Mr. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. That'll come right off. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, I got this valance, or no, it's not a valance. It, well, it is a valance, but it's a little cafe curtain valance uh, that's sheer and has daisies embroidered on it. I am going to put this up in my kitchen in maybe in the summer for just a little something different kitchen window. I thought it was very, very pretty and light. Um, and I got this other Pyrex casserole. Again, I forget the name, but it has the lid. And it was five dollars at Goodwill. So that is my tremendous huge haul. Oh, I got these hydrangeas too. These silk hydrangeas at uh, Garage Sale this morning. There's four of them and I paid $2 for them, but the original price is still on them. They were 
um, four dollars a piece when they were new and I as I said I got four of them so two bucks was a good deal um, so that's it for today and today is Saturday the 24th of March um, and uh, I have got some DIYs coming up this week so I hope you'll subscribe and take a look at my videos as they pop up because I've got a few ideas that I want to work on and uh, I hope you're having a great weekend I hope it's warmer wherever you are and uh, we'll see you again soon take care